Hello and welcome to a video where I'm going to be introducing you to the brilliant filter called Franimation. Now this is of course for MC Edit, so if you want to download that, there'll be a link in the description. MC Edit of course is a brilliant program and if you say otherwise, you are quite the fool. Anyway, basically what this filter does is, as you can see, create 3D animations in Minecraft. Now. For a free 3D animation in Minecraft, this is pretty damn fluid. If you've seen perhaps Seth Pling's video on his 3D animation filter, it doesn't even compare to what we have here. It's, it's pretty damn brilliant. Now, how this works is me, as the player creating the animation, designs each frame for the animation. Now, as you can see, I've just laid them all out here. And that's how the filter basically looks for each frame. You tell it how wide each frame is. For example, this one's seven wide. We count the blocks until the next desired frame. And it will basically take each of these sort of regions and say, OK, each of them is a frame. And then it will do some magic Python amazing filtery stuff, which I am... Um, not good enough at Python yet to understand. I mean, I've been giving it a go learning some Python coding, but I'm still a beginner compared to this awesome level of complexity. But anyway, basically what it does is it it does this. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's pretty damn beautiful. Anyway, let's hop over to MC Edit in just a second because I realized that another thing you have to take into consideration is the actual placement of this animation. You've got to decide where you want it to be in your world, and by doing that, you just basically grab the coordinates by pressing F3 and reading them off the left-hand side of the screen. Not too difficult, but let's jump over to MC Edit and give it a little bit of a demonstration. All right, so as you can see, we're back in MC Edit, and here are my frames in my world. Of course, it's going to be quite laggy. I do apologize for that. But anyway, let's have a look at how to do this. Now, I'm just going to move these spawners here out of the way because they're a little obtrusive at the moment okay there we go I believe that should have selected it nudge that over to the right off you go um, and now let's get to actually selecting this all you need to do is drag a selection box all across your entire set of frames I do apologize for the dreadful frame rate it's highly unideal unfortunately that's just the way that MC Edit is very laggy on my computer alright so once you've got that the way it's gonna work is it's gonna separate this into the number that you give it for the frames so let's go ahead and go to filter as you can see i've got franimation loaded up already and i've already inputted a bunch of the sort of parameters that it's going to apply and just note down here here's just a little thing if you want to contact the filter filter maker i suppose um, now frame width blocks that's the amount that it will check for each frame so I've set that to 7 because each frame is 7 wide. Now you've got a couple of other sort of options you can choose from. And you've got the coordinates that I mentioned. So let's go ahead and give it a plus 10 on the Y coordinate. So that it will appear about 10 blocks above the previous one. Let's just go ahead and hit filter. And we'll hop back over into Minecraft to see what happened. All right, so we're back in Minecraft and we can admire our handiwork. We've got another one of these spinning things sitting right here, looking pretty damn awesome. And that is awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this filter. It's a pretty damn awesome filter and I don't reckon it gets enough attention. I mean, I'm not a massive channel, but I just thought I'd throw it out there just for people who want to see and sort of allow it to be seen a little bit more by the community. Hopefully someone else will pick up on it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
if you had a rating will be much appreciated and for more videos of this sort of thing then feel free to subscribe to my channel and that's all for what that's all for today i want to thank you guys for watching see you next time